Freddy stat. The short question arising in these cases is whether a hospital is a dealer within the definition of that term contained in the KGST Act herein after called the Act. The proceedings initiated against the petitioners by the sales tax authorities under the Act under challenge are issued on the basis that the petitioners are dealers under the Act. While in some cases, notices are issued to the hospitals directing them to take registration under the KGST Act. In some cases, hospitals are directed to produce books of accounts and yet in another category, penalty is levied or proposed either for not registering or for non-compliance with the other statutory provisions. The validity or otherwise of all these proceedings will depend on whether the concerned hospital can be treated as a dealer to subject it to the all disciplines provided under the Act and rules. There is a standard pattern of service rendered in a hospital and distinguishing factors among the hospitals may be in regard to quality and volume of it, but essentially the activities in all the hospitals are one and the same. There is no case by any of the petitioner hospitals that they are not supplying or selling the medicines to the patients in the course of medical treatment which is the very basis on which sales tax authorities have issued notices calling them to take registration to produce books of accounts, file returns and pay tax if any due. Therefore, the essence of issue is whether the supply of medicine to patient in the course of treatment constitutes sale bringing the petitioners within the scope of dealer under the act making them liable in takeout registration, file returns and to pay sales tax if applicable. I heard counsel for the petitioners and also the special government pleader for taxes. By virtue of the exemption provided under the above notification, there is no need to go into the question as to whether medical practitioners dispensing medicines are also dealers within the meaning of act because why, by virtue of the exemption available to medical practitioners, that question is only academic in nature and I do not think there is any need for this court to address such a question unnecessarily. The explanation to entry 13 to the above notification was introduced with effect from 16-8-2001. However, notices are seen issued by some officers way back in 1997 itself directing hospitals to comply with statutory provisions. In fact, exclusion of hospitals and clinics from the entry 13 above is only in the form of an explanation. Even prior to the inter introduction of the said explanation, Entry 13 provided for exemption only to medical practitioners dispensing medicines from, the, from their own dispensaries who are different from hospitals and clinic. Therefore, even prior to the introduction of the explanation, such of the person who generally come as medical practitioner Dispensing medicines from their own dispensaries only can claim exemption under the said notification. All that item 19 of SRO 1090 oblique 19 and exempts, exempts is a category of doctors supplying medicine in the course of rendering medical service or treatment from their dispensaries. Such cases have to be taken as dispensaries run by doctors where Medicine is dispensed with as part of service. The term hospital in the dictionary is given a meaning to cover an institution or place where sick or injured hospitals are, med are given medical or surgical care. Stop.